I'm gonna show you how to access all of the features that YouTube has for YouTube content creators on your mobile device. Because you shouldn't be restricted from information that's gonna help you grow your YouTube channel just because you're making videos and doing everything on your phone. And as a heads up, there's things in there that are gonna help you grow your channel and you need access to them. So I'm gonna hop on the phone so I can show you how to do this and we're starting right now. So the very first thing that you wanna do once you are on your phone is you want to go to m.youtube.com. You'll notice if you click over on your profile picture that you don't have any access to the back end of your YouTube channel here. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the three dot menu down on the bottom right hand side, and then you wanna scroll up, and this is all done in Google Chrome by the way, but you wanna scroll up and you wanna click on request desktop site. Once you do that, YouTube is going to show you the actual desktop version of YouTube. But what you want to do as a content creator is you want to zoom in so that you can easily click on your profile picture and you want to click on your profile picture in the top right. And then you're going to see the option here for YouTube studio. You want to click on that and that's going to take you into your channel dashboard. Now, if you're a mobile content creator, you might not have ever seen this page before. So what they show you here is they show you a card on how your last video performed. They show you generally how your channel's doing. They show you some updates directly from YouTube, you know, things like that, just a quick snapshot of what's going on with your YouTube channel. But what you want to do, if you want to go into your stats so that you can really dig in to your YouTube analytics is you want to go over on the left-hand side, you want to zoom in a little bit in order to get to this, um, you're going to see the icon here that that is for the analytics. You wanna click on that. And then once you're in here, what you are going to see is you're going to see a display of the real-time analytics over on the right-hand side. You're going to see your top performing videos for the period, and you're gonna see just a general snapshot of your stats as well. Now, one of the things that is really awesome about doing this on a phone, especially if you're a mobile content creator, is you have access to things that you would not have had access to otherwise. So as an example, if I click on this See More, this takes me into the advanced version of my YouTube analytics. Now, the really cool thing about this is this allows you to deep dive into your analytics just like you could do on a computer. So you'll see if we click on this more tab here, then it gives us you know a lot more options in terms of things that we can look at. If we click on this plus icon, we can add additional things to the analytics if we want you know deeper information on what it is that we're looking for. We even have access on the phone here, just like you do on a desktop, to hidden features that are inside of your YouTube analytics. So over on the right-hand side, you'll see that there's a compare to option, um, but if you click on that, then it automatically starts the process of comparing content against each other. But another way that you might want to approach this is actually clicking on your name. And when you click on your name, you're gonna see this other panel pops up and then you can click on groups. And then here you can create groups on whatever it is that you wanna test. So for example, you'll see here that I have one for thumbnails with a surprised face, thumbnails without a surprised face. And as I publish content, I just add it to these groups. And then over time, I just go in and I look and then I start comparing the content against each other to see what is performing better. So in this example, I'll take you through a walkthrough. For here, I'm going to zoom in and I'm gonna click on non-growth tips on the thing that we're gonna start with. Now, keep in mind, you would have had to have created this group in order to actually come in here and do this. But then I'm gonna click on compare to, and then I'm gonna go into groups, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm going to click on growth tips. And then I'm going to change this from a side-by-side -side table to a multi-metric table. And then right here, I can directly compare both of these to see which ones are getting more views, which ones people watch for longer periods of time, which ones get more impressions, you know, all the things that are important for us as content creators to make the right decisions on what it is that we're gonna be publishing. And then of course, if I wanna see what has driven more subscribers, I can click that plus icon, and then I can add that to the list if I want, but I can add anything that I want here so that I can really dig deep into my analytics to really get an understanding of the things that you are responding to more than the things that you don't. And everybody, if you're a mobile content creator or if you're doing this on a computer, should be doing this with the content that you publish. Now, if we go back to the main page here and we close out that advanced area, other cool things that you can see here just at a glance is if we click on this reach tab, you can also come down here and you can start to see where you're getting your traffic from. Um, you can start to see where on YouTube you're getting your traffic from. Um, you can also see if we scroll down the page here, what suggested videos are driving traffic to you. So for example, if we click into this see more then you'll see that I've got a whole listing of videos here that are driving traffic to me. So I can see literally where the views are coming from for my YouTube channel and I can act accordingly. Other things that you can see in the traffic source reports, if we click on the see more here, is you can also see your click-through rate 
and your average view duration per traffic source as well, which is another thing that's extremely valuable when it comes to making your content decisions, um, especially if you're wanting to get more homepage traffic or you're wanting to get more suggested views. Um, this is where you can start identifying some problem areas so that you can make sure that you take care of those. But of course, you can fully explore around here and dig in as deep as you would like because you can spend tons of time in here. But I just wanted to show you how you can access full YouTube analytics just using your phone. To learn more about how to do YouTube related things on your phone, click into this playlist right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.